Pied-billed grebes are mostly dark brown. It's the only grebe with a thick, blunt bill. Pied means two-colored, as its bill is white with a dark band near the tip. It also has a black patch on the throat and a white patch on the tail. These disappear in winter, leaving the grebe all brown. The Latin for grebe means feet at the buttocks, which is true for grebes. They are great swimmers because the location of their feet helps propel them in the water along with lobed instead of webbed toes, but they walk awkwardly on land. Pied-billed grebes are common in North America but are quite shy, usually remaining hidden in deep cover in the marsh except in spring when it can sometimes be seen in open water. As they can trap water in their feathers, they can sink low enough so only the bill remains above water, and they are expert divers sometimes head first and sometimes just slowly sinking below the surface without a trace. They dive for most of their food, which consists of crustaceans, a variety of fish, amphibians, insects, and other invertebrates, which they can crush with their sh strong jaws. Along with these, they eat crabs, shrimp, snails, mussels, beetles, dragonfly nymphs, and aquatic insects in their larvae, leeches, frogs, and tadpoles. They also eat a lot of their own feathers and feed some to their chicks. Feathers seem to form a sieve that prevents hard parts of their prey to get into their intestines. It also forms items into pellets, so they're easier to regurgitate. They are rarely seen in flight and are not great flyers, but can be heard with their loud cow-cow-cow calls, along with grunts and wails. <laughs> They require a long, running, flapping start for takeoff. The courtship ritual includes raising their breasts partially and jerking their heads towards each other. They also pirouette and swim fast underwater, which creates ripples on the top. Both male and female pied-billed grebes may select a nest site and both build it as quickly as in one day and continue until after she lays three to five days later. The nests are bowl-shaped, about four to five inches wide and an inch deep, and sometimes placed on a lily leaf. They use material from underwater. Their nests are built on masses of floating dead vegetation in fairly deep water, nine inches or more, and anchored by reeds. She lays two to ten bluish-greenish eggs and incubates them for 23 to 27 days. The chicks leave the nest the first day after hatching. Like loons, they will spend a lot of time the first week riding on a parent's back. When the parents dive, they clamp their young under their wings. They also stay near the nest for a few weeks. They are territorial, chasing and attacking members of their own species, as well as other water birds, often underwater. In winter, they are often in small groups on large bodies of water. Pied-billed grebes will crash dive or belly flop in a dangerous situation. The tail and head will disappear last, and water will explode several feet into the air.